For Las Vegas, we're going to see about 72% at roughly 1030 uh, of the sun will be covered. That's if we can see it. <laughs> the cloud cover has made it so that we can't do actual any actual observing of it right now. I have a t-shirt in my drawer that is from around 1999 that says, don't be left out of the dark, total eclipse 2017, from back when I was at the University of Missouri as a grad student. Of course, I'm disappointed. Uh, I would have loved to have been able to actually see it from here. It's always a good thing when we can get people this interested in a scientific event, an astronomical event like this. It's actually really, really incredible how many people are standing out here in the rain hoping to catch a glimpse of this solar eclipse that we may not even get a chance to see at all today now. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a little older and I have to see something here on Earth before I'm ready to go. <laughs> we had to take the day off, but we think it's worth it for such a, an event. Disappointed for sure, but you know, things happen. Mother Nature took over. There's nothing we can do about it. So this is the next best thing. We're just glad to be here and see it because it is part of history. It'll probably be the last chance I ever get to see an eclipse. Or a partial one. I think people are curious about space. I think people are so intrigued to know how does a solar eclipse work. I want to see an event that I can't see every day. You know, why why can't I look directly at the sun without solar glasses? What kind of welding glasses can I use? Am I gonna go blind? Are there aliens? I mean the questions just range from anything from practical retina safety <laughs> to you know life in the universe and even bigger questions about its formation and evolution.